My name is Shannon B. Douglas. Shannon Boucher, candidate for Zone 6, OCDSB, Ottawa Carleton District School Board. I'm doing this video today to uh, answer the question, why should you care about the election of school board trustees? Very, very few people do. Well, that's actually why you should care. Because over the last decade or so, our school boards governed by elected trustees in, in school uh, districts all across Ontario and all across Canada have been infiltrated by activist board members who are predominantly far left in their ideological leanings. Now, uh, ideology, political ideology is a spectrum. We know this. It goes from left to right. And when we don't have representation from multiple perspectives on school boards or in any governing body, we run into difficulties uh, of um, ideological concentration. So first reason that you should care about school boards is that we are left of NDP in a lot of school boards in uh, Ontario. Certainly our Ottawa school board is uh, heavily uh, tilted towards left-wing ideology. Now, what does that mean? Well, uh, it means that we're teaching things in school that disrespect traditional values of people. And on a scale, I believe, because I've studied this, and I've talked to many residential school survivors and heard direct experiences and accounts of their time in those schools, where we have a level of disrespect of uh, of family tradition and religious tradition in the school system that is uh, on par with the contempt that we had as a, as a government, as a society, for the culture of Indigenous people who were taught to um, forget their Native traditions in residential schools. Now, let's get specific about this, okay? So there's an Ottawa school in June. And its population is 75% Muslim. Now, we only have about 1.5% uh, Muslim population across Canada. But this particular neighborhood and this particular feeder area is growing rapidly. And, uh, and so very concentrated Muslim population in the school. And at the beginning of June, uh, the school decided, this is a K-8 to school, decided to host and have a pride celebration day. And they extended the courtesy, and, and maybe they're regretting this, but they extended the courtesy to parents uh, of informing them that they were going to have a pride-related day. And lo and behold, 75% of the parents uh, or of the students of the school stayed home that day. The parents kept them home. Now, I spoke to a friend of mine who is Muslim and raising her kids in tradition. And she said, we don't judge people for the way they live their lives, but our religion and our culture, we, we simply don't believe in this kind of celebration. And so we kept our kids home and that's our right. That's religious freedom in Canada. However, following this, the next day, uh, well, the with 75% of the kids not at school, there were some classes with only two or three children in them. And there was a lot of upset students and teachers because of this absence. And the vice principal of the school sent a letter to parents, all parents, um, I'm waiting to obtain, but essentially uh, condemning the uh, choice of the religious freedom of parents to keep their kids away from this kind of exposure. Now look, Google images of Pride Parade. And imagine if you're a new immigrant to Canada and, and your, your school is telling you that your kids are, that the school is having a Pride Day and you're seeing images of Pride Parades. Uh, these, are, these are not friendly to children. These are not uh, age appropriate for, uh, for kids in K-8 to school. And it, it, to me, it's easy to imagine just why parents might want to keep their kids home. 
But the vice principal then went to various classrooms, admonishing children for their insensitivity and lack of inclusion. Now I have reports from whistleblowers and I have a number of different whistleblowers in different schools, parents, uh, administrators, teachers, uh, various levels all across the district. And I have reports that the vice principal was shaming kids and that other teachers, activist teachers, far left teachers decided that they were gonna go on a rainbow revenge for the rest of the year and taught pride related concepts every single day in order to accommodate for this. Now, reports are that the union and the diversity, equity, and inclusion representatives uh, for this particular school said that uh, human rights are not up for debate, referencing the, uh, uh, I guess, trans and, and LGB inclusion into uh, the school curriculum. Well, this is not the school's job. I'm a very liberal person. I grew up in, I went to university. I was in the arts community, film, writing, uh, and theater in Vancouver, very, very liberal, very open. I supported gay marriage uh, in the 90s, well before it was established. And uh, I'm not coming at this from a, a religious perspective myself. I'm coming at, from it, at it from a constitutional perspective. I looked at the ethics that guide teachers and administrators in schools, and there's no specific uh, ethics within their own uh, structures uh, per se, but they are uh, obligated first and foremost to educate children and to conduct themselves uh, within the parameters of the Canadian Constitution, okay, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. And Section 2A of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms is religious freedom. Now, secondarily to that, teachers are obligated to act under the Ontario human rights laws, okay? And the federal laws obviously supersede and provide structure to the provincial legislation. So these activist teachers are pointing to their claims of violations of human rights for not being trans inclusive and LGB inclusive, but they're failing to recognize that the freedom of religion that we all enjoy in Canada and the freedom of expression supersedes those those rights and and at the very at the at the least generous here i can say that we have a conflict of rights that the schools need to be able to respect but in this case the schools were not respecting this and now have created a rift and a and and undermined trust with an entire community of people here in ottawa now Muslims aren't accepted here. Uh, people who are, have other religious traditions, Christianity, for example, are treated with contempt by teachers and by the administrations of schools because the teachers have decided that they know better. Well, the last time we decided we knew better than parents and the cultures of the community was the residential schools. And we are at a point where schools, teachers and administrators, unions, and the diversity, equity, and inclusion people are openly advocating that we keep secrets from parents, that we teach children in schools as if the schools owned the moral education of children, which they do not, uh, in spite of what parents believe, and are undermining trust relationships between parents and children in violation of Section 2A of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. This is one reason why you may want to be concerned about upcoming school board elections. My name is Shannon Boucher, candidate for Zone 6 OCDSB.